Hello and welcome back to Yumaniki. Since I quit last time, we don't get to explore the Pink Sea today, or probably not, but I don't really mind. I do want to check it out eventually just to see if anything is different, but I wouldn't really expect anything to be different inside the Pink Sea because that is like one of the main dreams and the whole Ubwa thing. I imagine it's unchanged, but I do want to be thorough and check everything just to make sure, so we'll do it eventually. But for now, today, the nostalgia goggles have somewhat worn off. I got my fill last time, and now I just want to try and be thorough and try to find everything we can. So, we've gone through the sewers, we've gone through the block world, and we've gone through the snow world. But I don't think we've gotten 100% of everything in any of them, really, so we'll go and try to do that. And first off, let's get up. Madotsuki, there we go. Okay, weird. When you use a mouse and keyboard, you can just wake her up by hit hitting the uh, arrow keys, but you can't on the controller. Just, oh, well, got the Easter egg again. Great. Okay. Let's, let's do this, I no. Let's do this, I suppose. Can we go to bed then? No. All right. I I assume this is unchanged and nothing is different here. Well, if you haven't seen it, it's a it's a decently little cute Easter egg. Hello, eyeball. Oh, we can't even go out in the chair. Oh no, you can. That was weird. I was clicking and nothing was happening. All right, here we are. Uh, what was I saying? I want to check out the snow world. Oh. Wait, no, I just pressed A. I thought it didn't work because I didn't press Y, but then I did press A and it did work. I'm, I'm a bit confused. I think this is probably the quickest way there, right? I don't know where the, uh, oh, where the block world is connected to. There might be better, better ways to do it, but let's just head this way. I think it's, yeah, right here, right? Yeah. So again, I have stuff I want to try in the block world. I have stuff to find in the sewers, but I don't really have any ideas of how to get them, so we'll wait with it for now. But block world, I do have a couple of ideas. But today, for now, to start with, I just want to explore the snow world. And let's try and be a bit methodical about this. So, instead of going down towards the camera where I can't see anything, I'm going to go up. And I'm just gonna keep going up, and we'll see... Wait, hold on, let's see if we can, like, pick out a landmark... ...somewhere. I need some point of reference before I start running, I feel, or I'm never going to realize if it's looping or not. So if we could find, like, a rock of some kind... Yeah, like this rock. That's fine, I guess, and it's in a big open area, and there's this triangular sort of rock pointing down to the left. Okay, so that's our our main waypoint, and now I will try to head roughly straight up, and we'll see what we can find. You can't make the camera shift by double jumping, so that's not a thing. Just more trees for right now. I assume it's gonna, oh, take a while. So here's another rock. That's not the one. I think I'm straying to the right a little bit. So let's go back and keep heading up. Oh, hello. Hi. How are you? Oh, is that a dream complete? Scarf and hat, left stick to put them on. So, like, press in the left stick? Huh. I guess that was a dream. Again, they haven't added any achievements to the game, so even though you used to get an achievement for every dream you completed, you don't now, which is a bit odd. 
I guess we might as well jump out and just... You can take a look at my uh, stats now. So now we have 85% effects. What did we have before? Wait, didn't we have 80%? I kind of have to check the, uh, the beginning of this recording. I was starting on the main menu, so I, I can show that. Because, like, if it was 80%, then that's more effects than I was expecting, but... I don't know, and then... Oh, that was the only dream. Okay. So I guess, yeah, we are kind of done. Like, there's stuff to find. This is weird, though. So if... If there aren't any more dreams, then why do you need, like, four more effects, or... I don't even know how many there are. Maybe I had, like, 70% effects before? and then got 15% more, so now it's only 15% again? I don't know. I really can't remember. But there's at least one more effect, if not more. Yeah, so there we go. We got the egg here. Is there a... a jellyfish to find here as well? That would be kind of weird, so if I were to go and try to get on the spaceship now, I wouldn't be able to, maybe, because I haven't found the, the jellyfish. Okay, so left stick. Whoa. Whoa, you like change your clothing? Ha! Huh. So what does this do? I can still jump and double jump. I can still use Hamsa. I can still stab with a knife. I can... Use the lantern, just fine. I can use the umbrella, but it causes it to snow. And I can't move while while doing it. Oh, am I freezing the sewer? Oh my god, that... Wait. I am! Holy crap! I guess that was lucky that I did it in here. Okay. And it's like cracking a little bit, but the ice won't melt or break, I suppose. Okay, so that explains it. Hey guy, sorry I, I froze you. I can't even put you out of your misery. Wait, so hold on, if I then unscarf and then make it rain, will it melt the ice? I wonder. No. So it's a one-time thing. I assume if I wake up or leave the dream, it'll be normal again? But sure, let's walk around in scarf mode. I wonder if it has any effect on any other screen than this one. Is it just a one-time thing, or can you do more with it? So yeah, we can go down here now. No, wait, this is nothing. But we can go down into that little thing right there. Yep. But let's just check around first. Oh, that's the only only way. Okay, never mind. Yeah, here we go. So what is that redness up there? Let's check down here first. Oh, I was stuck on something. Yeah, nothing. Wait, is that a Hamsa? It's not, right? No. Oh! It's you! Wait. No, okay, they do... They do catch you. That's odd why... You have to be, like, close to them? So I can walk through here... And over here... And in the middle here? No, not in the middle. Alright. So, can I go out here? Can I stab them? No. I can't. Can I push over the pillar? Can I jump on top of it? No. Well, I, I guess you just walk past it then. Just like... Oh. Can't jump over them. Oh, I wasn't even in it there. 
That's kind of weird, so... I can walk behind these guys. No, I can't. I could before, couldn't I? Was that with a stab? Now I can't even do it. If I come from here, and I stab... Ah, I guess I'm just stuck there. I thought I, like... Okay. No, I did go back behind him. I'm very confused. This is very bizarre. I don't know really what's expected of me. Yeah, you can do that. Okay. So you just, like, jump between them, maybe? Yeah, I guess that's what you do. Oh, damn it. Once again, depth perception strikes again. So can I just, like, fly over all of them? No, not like that. And four is too much. Yeah, okay. So, get in here. Then over here. Oh. Then like that. And like that. Can I just fly here? Yeah? No! What? Really? Maybe I should have just held left. I let go of it. Oh, man. Well, I was gonna explore the snow world today, but that kind of stopped. There might be more in the snow world yet. No. Is it just impossible to get in there? At the moment, maybe you do need another effect that would help with all of this, but let's try jumping down instead just to check. So if I jump across here, and then down this way, that's fine, and then this doesn't really help at all. Hmm. It doesn't seem like I can do anything here. From what I can tell, I can't proceed here. I might be just doing it wrong. That's very possible, but it doesn't seem like you can get through unless I get some sort of effect. So I guess we'll keep going for now. We can't get the, like, ghost effect from this guy and be invisible. Not that that was a thing in the original, but, you know, could be a thing. Oh, hi, you're still alive. Hello. So I guess he wasn't frozen, the other guy. He was just standing still, maybe. Or maybe that guy is just bugged. Yeah, and we can't do anything here. Alright, well, we got an effect, so that's cool, I suppose. I, I guess I'll just move on from there and we'll keep exploring a little bit in the snow world. Yeah, he's alive. Okay, I thought he was dead. I wonder what happens if you try to freeze, like, the docks or something. Also, what? Where did this lead again? Have I checked this? I think I did. The well? Yeah, that's the well. Well, I guess while we're here, might as well make it snow. Oh, it doesn't make it snow. No, it does make it snow. It just took a while. Okay. But yeah, this one doesn't have anything special. It doesn't stay. Alright. Okay. Whoops. Whoops. Okay, you get to live. So, let's see if we can find something else here. Let's just make it snow. Yeah, just snowing. Nothing special. And if we do it here... Does it, like, double the snow? 
Well, the sound is different, right? Or did it sound like that before? I guess it sounded like that before. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm, I'm just gonna start walking again. Because there might be a collectible or something that we haven't gotten here. And I still haven't looped around completely. So there's one rock. And I'll just keep heading straight again. Yeah, there she is. Hello. I am you now. What's up? I'll get us an umbrella. Okay, nothing. I'm not gonna click her again because that would just take me out of the the thing. Isn't that the rock I was walking around on? So I must have been really close to finding her last time, but I just headed like down to the right instead. And now I'm pretty sure I've gone a bit too far to the right, so I should veer off to the left a little bit more if I want to keep heading straight. There's a rock, but it's a tiny one. And this one again. Does this lead anywhere? No, it's just more, more of the same. Well, that's a new rock. Hmm. I still don't seem to have looped. Is this area just really, really big? Or have I looped and just missed it? Because that might very well be a thing. I don't recognize this. Wow, this is a huge open area. There has to be something here, right? No? I, I guess nothing. Okay. Hold on, I'm just gonna circle this quickly. Oh, there was a, an abrupt loop of the song. I didn't notice that last time. The bicycle would be a nice effect to get for this area, so you could explore it a bit quicker. Don't think that's a thing, though, but maybe. Yeah, there's that rock. Let's just head over to the right. Hmm. I guess it's nothing. Now I've gone way too far right. Oh, is that the one? That kind of looks like our rock. Triangular points sort of down to the left. Yeah, I think we're back to the start. I'm pretty sure this is the uh, starting spot. So I guess if we keep heading up now, then I would find the girl again. But do I need to do that? I think I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm right about that. But after that point, we, we have to, like, move a little bit to the right or left, and then start moving upward. 
just to keep going like that and comb through the area, because that's what you had to do in the original a lot. And I mean, I said that it was kind of nice to have an infinite scroller, because that was such a huge part of the original, but I don't particularly enjoy the infinite scrollers in the original. It was quite tedious, so I'm kind of glad if this is the only one they do this with. It also, like, really fits very well with the snow world and stuff. I don't feel like we need more of them. Just kind of a, a neat mechanic to give a nod to, because that was a major component of making the dreams feel kind of vast and have lots to explore because you kept looping around and I'm pretty sure I passed the point where the girl was, so that's not really very helpful. I'm just gonna head to the left. Oh! Oh! Well, there we go. We found something at least. Just normal collectible? Concept art? Concept art. Cool. Okay. I kind of feel like that might be it in this area. I can't go to bed here. Because we found an effect. We found the end of the dream. We found the igloo. And we found this bed with a collectible. Like, how much more could there be here? Well, there could be a lot more. Who knows, maybe another effect. There might be multiple effects in the same area. But I kind of doubt it. I'm gonna head left. Is this the same open plane for the giant rock? Or no? I just want to confirm that it is and then head back. But I don't know if it is. This kind of seems different. Nope, yeah, there it is. Okay, so head back and we'll head up. Yeah, it's really hard to tell where you are here. At least in the original, you could, like, look at tree formations and stuff and kind of know, because it was an overhead perspective, you could know roughly where you are at any given time. Here, it's very hard to tell if you've passed a tree before or not. Still haven't run into the igloo by doing this. And since I have been veering to the left, I don't recognize any landmarks or anything. This isn't the same plane again, right? I haven't looped that quickly. Let's just check that. So I'm gonna head to the right, see if I see the rock again. And if I do, then I guess the area might actually be shorter than I thought, or smaller. And then, back before, I probably looped- yep, it's there. I probably looped more than once before I found my way back to the original spot. So, okay. I guess it's not massive, 
But I guess we'll leave it there then, and I'm gonna continue exploring this a little bit. It might be a bit boring, you might want to skip ahead if you don't care. I doubt there's anything more, but I just want to come through it even more, like keep heading up and to the left more and more and more, so we just go in a giant spiral kind of thing, and... Well, okay, weird, I wasn't holding anything there. And we'll just see if we can find anything, if nothing else, the igloo, and... I guess if I find the igloo, we might as well just check out the Pink Sea, just because. And after that, I've got a couple of ideas for the block world, so we'll check those out, and... As I've said before, then we gotta look at everything else, like the desert world and the Aztec temple and all of that. So, hope you enjoyed the episode, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!